required mm -hmm. for each and every person with disability. Mm -hmm. And um, issues like policy matters are also dealt with, mm -hmm. which in fact uh, we have a great stake on. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I should quote from policy that we have, mm -hmm. a lot is on stake, mm -hmm. and this is one of the activities mm -hmm. which the policy is talking about, so that we disseminate the information mm -hmm. about disability mm -hmm. and what can be done about it. Mm -hmm. Because it is a condition, yes, mm -hmm. but then in as much as there is a condition, mm -hmm. there are rights you know, that are binding, mm -hmm. we should be fulfilled. Okay. Yeah. We also comes to issues of, 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 of can we say, rights, mm -hmm. because it is also a right. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a right mm -hmm. because of the simple fact that mm -hmm. they have their own mm -hmm. desire, they have their own aspirations, mm -hmm. they have their own intentions, mm -hmm. and they have their own likings. Okay. So this is why mm -hmm. we have to you know, put heads together and mm -hmm. see where it's best that we can support them mm -hmm. so that they can also live comfortably mm -hmm. despite their disability. Okay. This is one of the activities that we are doing. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Sani, I won't let you go, uh, Mr. Sene. Um, Social security. So welfare. Social welfare. Yes. Yeah. Um, is is I can say is a whole bowl of um, soup. You can call it. Um, you're everywhere at the same time. Uh, but how how um, committed is this office of welfare when it comes to this project? Oh, very supportive for that matter. Okay. Because um, I am representing mm -hmm. um, the department at that steering committee level. Mm -hmm. So that the activities of the whole, you know, disability employment services mm -hmm. uh, would be as an incorporate, you know, activity mm -hmm. of what I am supposed to be doing okay. in line with what the ministry or the department mm -hmm. is obliged to, okay. to, to do. Mm -hmm. So you may find out that section 31, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. section 31, um, two of the 1997 constitution mm -hmm. has made provision. Okay for such issues mm -hmm. like employment or education and employment, mm -hmm. which is a right. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is not a mistake mm -hmm. that, yes, we have come up with this project mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. that, yes, there are people who have at least who are lucky mm -hmm. to have acquired some form of formal education. Mm -hmm. we, and I can quote the figures, because as per our last um, education um, survey that we mm -hmm. did, out of 48% of those who have at least gone to school, mm -hmm. 3% are in the formal sector, okay. yes, and 1% are in the informal sector. So you find out that if we're talking about employment situation, mm -hmm. it's very low. very low, compared to the prevalence rate mm -hmm. of what we have in the Gambia here as per persons with disability. Mm -hmm. We are talking about 2.4% of the population, 2.4% mm -hmm. of the population, mm -hmm. so you can see almost one quarter of, you know, has not even gone yeah. into the formal sector. Mm -hmm. So this is why mm -hmm. the disability employment services mm -hmm. has come mm -hmm. to step in so that they can break the gap okay. and make linkages okay. to potential employers mm -hmm. who can also tap the potencies of the persons with disability mm -hmm. who have acquired who have acquired the, 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 the professional skills mm -hmm. and have also got the qualifications mm -hmm. so that they can also earn their living and play their quota into the development, yes, and development. That about. yes and that's why you're talking about the national development okay that's where the team lies right? okay uh, mr kamara is well well um, answered um Therese, you're the project officer uh, how do you go on taking these people from where they are because then uh, they used to say that you know when you're disabled you don't want to come out you, you're always uh, behind the curtains as the English people say how do you uh, get these people uh, show them that you have been to school your your value in the society you you have to contribute your your quarter in the nation development um, that's a very important question mm -hmm. first of all the thing is in Gambia here we don't have well, there's no data available about persons that are um, persons with disabilities that are skilled. Okay. So at the moment, what the project is trying to do mm -hmm. is to create um, to conduct a survey where we can go into the, pop the population mm -hmm. and collect this data and find out people that actually have been trained, mm -hmm. have skills, mm -hmm. that we can create a database mm -hmm. as a baseline starting point because there's no database at all. Okay. So we're working with the general population and the DPOs. Mm -hmm. That's the Disabled People's Organizations. Okay. They have their own members that are registered within them. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to tap from these different organizations, there are about nine of them, mm -hmm. to see people that are registered with them. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we've got a lot of um, 
feedback mm -hmm. from these individual DPOs mm -hmm. that are sending us their own registered members mm -hmm. who have got some sign of skills. Do, do they need education. to pay to, to register or they, they don't just need walk to pay. into They don't your need office. to pay. Okay. They don't need to pay. They've got these different DPOs with um, individual impairments. Uh -huh. They've got the physical impaired people. They've got the physical uh, visually impaired. Mm -hmm. So all these individual organizations are open. So people, people should go out, register with these DPOs, because mm -hmm. it's going to make life a lot easier for us. Okay. Because then the data will be available with these DPOs. As much as data we're going to collect from the general population, mm -hmm. at least it will give us a very good starting point. Okay. Well, uh, Therese, I must come back to you. But first, uh, let me come back to uh, Mr. Idrissa here. Uh, you said your vision is persons with disabilities in the Gambia are employed in all sectors and organizations at all levels. Can you talk about more on, on, on that, sir? Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Jalo. Uh, if you look at the employment trend in this country, mm -hmm. you go to most offices, most organizations, you realize that you have the so-called able bodies, mm -hmm. the directors you check, the messengers, the secretaries, in all CADA, in the government systems, in the NGO, mm -hmm. the civil society mm -hmm. organizations, you will find the so-called able people only yeah. who are working on their two legs. and mm. Yes. Now, this, uh, disabled people also can do those sort of jobs mm. that they, we have disabled, so-called able people in. Mm. We feel they could be given the chance to also come to play, to take their roles in those sort of organizations mm. by involving them, allowing them to come mm -hmm. and let them prove themselves by doing their work. Let us not assume that, well, they're, they're, they're disabled, they can't do it, mm -hmm. but allow them to come you know, look at their certificates, look at their potentials, mm -hmm. what are their skills, what can they do, mm -hmm. and put them on board and see what they can also do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, as you said, the vision is that, but then the mission as well is to create the linkage of, for quality employment opportunity for persons with disability in the country. Um, is it that when we say the country, we mean the whole Gambia, yeah. but uh, is it at now you are just in the... Uh, the Como area without going further down like the upper river and yeah for the meantime we are concentrating on uh, the greater Banjul okay. area mm -hmm. but that's notwithstanding we will be going up country mm -hmm. when the uh, the project expands hopefully in the next uh, one year or so okay. we'll be going up country but nonetheless people there also who are in the provinces mm -hmm. if they have registered with DPOs mm -hmm. and we are able to get uh, information on their education level, their skills or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. We will be able to, if they are not employed, we will be able to link them to potential employers. Because like when the job advert goes out, mm -hmm. it goes out to the whole people, the whole country. Mm -hmm. And whoever is interested, mm -hmm. you can apply, uh, apply anywhere you are, in country, even outside the country. Mm -hmm. So once you apply and you are registered with us, mm -hmm. that's where we will come in. So it's more or less you are like an agent right. looking for a pathway for them. Right. Okay. Where, like, you see a job advert, you apply. Mm -hmm. We will talk to that employer and say, well, this is somebody. Give, give him or her a chance. The opportunity. Mm -hmm. If the potential employer has mm -hmm. any issues regarding mm -hmm. uh, how to employ that person and if the person is employed, mm -hmm. what and what is he going to do or how, are we, uh, how can his work be sort of enhanced, okay. there we come in and provide the necessary information mm -hmm. or facilities if mm -hmm. need be. Okay. Like, if, for example, somebody who is visually impaired, wants to work in an organization and the person needs to uh, use a computer. Mm -hmm. There are softwares that we can provide for the potential employer to say, use this software on your computer and the person will be able to do his or her work. How, 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 how do you get your funds? Uh, our, our main donor who mm -hmm. provides funding for all this activity mm -hmm. is called Site Savers UK okay. through the British uh, department, that's the overseas department okay. uh, support they call DFID mm -hmm. that is uh, providing that funding for the, for the, for the, for the project. Okay, so how, how is the link between the social welfare and the... Uh... Social welfare is the parent uh, uh, department sort of. Okay. Uh, we work under GFD, Gambia okay. Federation of the Disabled. Okay. And Gambia Federation of the Disabled mm -hmm. is answering to, to uh, uh, social welfare okay. as their department, okay. line department in this country. Okay. So if we have any government policies mm -hmm. or whatever that we need to streamline or so, mm -hmm. we do it through social welfare, okay. through our ABLE director. Okay. Uh, well, viewers, if you're following us, we are talking about uh, disability employment services here on GRTS. And um, um, so far, we talked about so many things in English. Uh, we'll go into Fula and uh, Mandinka and Wallop. Uh,
ਵਧੀਆ ਮਿਲਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਹ